Hi, my name is Benjamin Kerr. In this video, I will show you what I created for the interactivity challenge for the interactive and immersive championship using Touch Designer. For the interactivity challenge, we had to create uh, something interactive uh, using an input of our choice. I use my phone. It also needed to be a generative piece that's gamified. So for this, I used uh, my phone uh, as a device for the input and I will show you uh, what I created. So I use an app on my phone called OSC Hook. So what this create is basically gives you the ability, if I just show you right there before everything else, uh, to send uh, data from your phone. Uh, in this case, it's the sensors on my phone, so accelerometer orientation, which is mostly uh, with the gyroscope. Uh, Wi-Fi signal, those things, and basically you just send them over OSC, which is uh, open sound control, if I'm correct. Uh, anyway, so basically it's a, it's a way of just sending uh, the position of my phone. So this is what I use. I use my phone and then got the orientation. So as you will see, the, the shape uh, right here, uh, icosahedron, I think, is going to uh, change color uh, using the orientation of my phone. So you won't be able to see the phone, but you will see those values change. And what I did is basically uh, create a little game where you uh, move your phone around to change the color to try to match uh, another color, which is the color of the background in this case. And then when you match this color, the background create a new random color just by changing the seed uh, with this script. So I'm basically just receiving the value. If it matches, changes the seed, and then create a new color here, there, and then again check if I match the background. And the way it works is that I receive signal, I filter it. So as you will see, when I will hit play, uh, the signal is going to enter uh, in kind of a stuttery way, so to make sure, but you can already see it there, uh, that we've got something a bit more uh, fluid, we use just a small filter, then we select the values we need, in this case orientation, and then it's going to change our color. And I will show you what, what this creates. So if I just hit play right there, I'm trying to match the color, so it's kind of tough, uh, you, sometimes you just move your phone around, <laughs> uh, you can try to get to the exact position, as I said, and uh, the thing is, it's very stuttery, so it's tough to match it, uh, I create a level of tolerance, if we can say that, where it's, you don't need to get the exact same color, but uh, you get kind of close, so this is like, there's a minus 0.2 uh, and uh, 0.2 and minus 0.2, so you need to try to match the color as close as possible. Uh, maybe I need to change this tolerance value. So as you can see, I'm trying to get to this color right there. I'm not exactly on it yet. Uh, let me just play around a little bit. And as I do that, I will also uh, show you a little more of, oh, as you can see, I just got to that color. So again, now I'm going for something green and playing around with the color. And as you can see, it changes uh, around. Now, just to show you a little more of the piece, uh, this, um, this 3D object is just moving with a noise, basically moving around uh, in front of the screen using a constant material color. Uh, so it doesn't seem 3D, uh, it was more, I used 3D just to move it in space, very simply, but it's actually, um, it's actually moving just with the, with the, um, with the noise right there. So my phone is moving the orientation of the object. So as you can see, it still moves, but not the place, it's, the place itself. And then afterwards, to create this kind of uh, like patch of colors effect, uh, it's basically just a feedback loop where I use levels uh, to play with contrast and, uh, and also with uh, opacity, and then uh, some blur then a transform, which is where it creates these moving patches, a very little bit of scaling. Another level right there, just to change the black level, and then over. So basically we're just moving 
the element the element uh, in the background and creating these patches of color with the transform. Finally, uh, with our background, we're just putting the color inside of a lookup, so with the noise, so to create a moving background, uh, kind of create a little cooler art piece instead of just a single uh, color in the background, but you can still see it and try to match uh, this color. But as you can see, there's a bit of black everywhere moving. And then I added um, an element called grain, which is something I created uh, very, very quickly. So we have an input, a noise right there, and a composite element where I just add the grain, which is very uh, small. Not sure if you can see it, but it's a very, very uh, uh, small amplitude of a noise with a with a period of zero, so basically we're just adding a grainy effect on the background on the background element, so basically on our output right there. So that's it for this project. I hope you liked it and that you will check out the rest of the competition. Thank you.